In the previous video, we talked about the motional EMF and the current induced as a bar moves to the right in a magnetic field directed into the page. And we started with Faraday's law, so we'll call this motional EMF part two. So we started with Faraday's law, the EMF is minus N times delta flux over delta T n was 1, and so this is minus delta flux over delta T, and flux is magnetic field times area. And the magnetic field is constant, so this is negative magnetic field times a change in area over the change in time. We considered a small change in area here in this space between where the bar was at its initial location and where the bar is at the final location. Said so it moved distance delta x and length l, so the change in area we said was delta x times l over delta t, and then we recognize that delta x over delta t is the speed, so the EMF is v l v. And we said the current could be found using Ohm's law, and the current is B L V over R. So the next question that we need to talk about is the force on the bar that now has a current in it, but is moving in a magnetic field. So again, consider that according to Lenz's law, the area is increasing in the loop, and so therefore there's a current that's going down through the resistor, across the bottom to the left, up through the moving bar, sorry, to the right, and across the top to the left. So I now have a current bar, a bar with current, moving through the magnetic field directed into the page. So according to the right-hand rule, I now have a current which is my thumb. So put your thumb toward the top of the page. Point your fingers in the direction of the magnetic field, which is into the page. So this is toward the top. And the fingers go into the page. And when you do that, you will notice that your palm of your right hand faces to the left. What that means, at this, this current over here that has been induced is now feeling a force to the left. So as the bar is moving to the right, there is a force to the left. So if there's a force to the left on the bar and it's moving to the right, the bar will slow down. And all of the kinetic energy that the bar has in the form 1 half mv squared will be converted into heat in the resistor. That's according to conservation of energy. Conservation of energy says that all of the 1 half mv squared energy that was in the bar will eventually get converted to heat, which is, uh, I power is I squared r times the time, and eventually the bar will stop. If I want the bar to move at a constant speed, then I need to pull forward. So the question is, what is that applied force that I need to pull forward with in order to get the bar to move forward at constant speed? Well, if you look at the bar, you have an applied force forward, and you have a magnetic force backward. And if the bar is moving at constant speed, the acceleration is zero, and so therefore the net force is zero. If the net force is zero, that means the applied force forward must be equal to the magnetic force backward. And the magnetic force backward is I L B sine theta. Now in this case, the current is upward and the magnetic field is into the page, so theta is 90 degrees. So the force is just I, the current that was developed in the bar because it's moving, 
times L, the length of the bar, times the magnetic field B through which the bar is moving. So if I scroll back up to the top, I'll see that I know that because I'm moving this with speed V, I have an induced current that's equal to BLV divided by R. So I then take that and substitute it in below for the current, and I get that the applied force necessary to keep this moving, this is BLV over R, is equal to the current, BLV over R, times L, times B. Or simplifying, B squared, L squared, V over R. That is the applied force necessary to keep this bar moving at a constant speed.